All right, as again, just uh, showing you what's happening with this rig. Um, basically, I've been working with a company called Pertec because uh, I fancy trying something different with the pipe work, you know. Uh, this is Pertec. Uh, this swansea you branch, like, you know. And they're the ones that make all the pipe work, uh, this type of pipe work, look. Um, also, got the uh, HD 6990EK blocks on the bottom of these cards. Um, and you just see the i7s in there, look, underneath that. But, uh, what I've done is use this um, the clear braided on the flow side and the stainless steel on the returns uh, going onto the manifold. Right? See the manifold there? And um, going to be changing this ball valve to the flow meter. Um, I say it's all stainless and it's all easy change. Right? Spanners and you can feel the tension. The cards, uh, it's going on to very soft metal, so you have to be very careful. And considering making some solid copper ones, and getting somebody to mill them up for me, so that we've got a bit of beef to tighten into, just to see. But these, these are hopefully these are gonna, these are gonna be great because they look lovely as well. I thought I'd put the rig on the side particularly, so you can see some mounted HD 6990s alongside a bit of stainless steel piping and stuff because. It's unusual, and like I say, each component is going to be getting its own uh, its own feed. Uh, the mocal pumps on the other side. Um, just a shot at the top because it's easier to work on this case without having uh, still got a bit of work to do on some of the unions because uh, I run out of fittings. So I just whacked a, a brass one in there. But it, it don't tighten up onto that boss very well, like, you know, so if I've got some proper stainless steel fittings to go in there. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for any pipes, because it's all quarter BSP, uh, British Standard Parallel, our rigs work on, right? And, uh, you know, these, um, uh, like I said before, fluid uh, transfer solution companies where she, there, you know, this is the kind of stuff they work with as well. So if you fancy a bit of that, you can do that, like, but, uh, you can see why I'm not quite ready to, to pump oil yet because I've been pretty busy putting this stuff together, right? But it's nice looking, it's quite unusual, you know? So, just so you can see what's happening there. It's a pity, actually, this, this rig is actually quite nice mounted on its side because you can see the cards in because, you know, they've done a fantastic job of making them and <laughs> you can't see them because they're on the bottom. Like, but, uh, on the side, but yeah, if you fancied a bit of something different with your pipe work, this is what it looks like stainless steel. So it won't be long enough, she'll be pumping oil there. Just for anybody who didn't know, five screens per card, eight gigabytes of RAM for these cards. This is, um, this is a Republic of Gamers special edition board. Uh, you can interface with another computer on the R ROG Connect uh, USB. Plus, they've got Bluetooth on the back as well. So if you've got smartphones, you can play around with the settings on the smartphone. And they're uh, going to be using the onboard audio chip and the onboard network chip. And then maybe uh, putting a killer network chip card in and... Um, a high-end uh, audio chip card and then we'll do some comparisons just to see if you can notice any difference like you know because I wouldn't mind betting that the, the chips on this board are pretty good like if not fantastic because I'm going to be rigging it up to a, a fully blown audio multiple monitor system as well in time now and we'll test it out and see how they perform so see you soon